I'm Katha Mackey with Terrier Vision here with Coach I. What does clench and third mean to the team? Getting a win in game one, whether it's Thursday or Friday, is always big. And then being able to do it with a fourth year senior on the mound meant a lot. So it's one of those things where it means a lot emotionally because it's Adam and then Mac hits a three run home run. And then you look up and realize that, you know, we've clinched third place and we feel great about it. But, you know, the coach talk is we got a long way to go and the tournament's next week. But, you know, we'll relish this finish in the summer. You know, we'll look back at this season and feel really good about winning our 14th conference game and finishing in third place at minimum. But right now, we just need to focus on keep getting better and continue to move forward. Baseball tournament next weekend, delivering to Nathanson. He tees off on the first pitch, deep to center. Nobody getting this. And Mac Nathanson, with his 11th home run of the year, has given Wofford a little breathing room here in the bottom of the fifth. A three-run shot for Nathanson. And a Terrier left fielder gives him something to cheer about here at Kingfield. Mac, you had three RBIs tonight and contributed to a Wofford run. Tell us what was going through your head up at plate tonight. Honestly, all I could think about was getting Adam this win tonight. This one was all for him. The amount he's done for us this year, just to get his last home start, his last start here, a win was just all that we could ask for. Mac, you had a home run tonight, but you're allowing a freshman to keep up with you. Tell us about the rivalry in the dugout. Uh, yeah, honestly, it's it's fun. He's one hell of a baseball player. He's going to be so talented. Um, I want him to keep beating me, so I keep catching up to him. It's just fun going back and forth with him. An emotional weekend here. Tell us what these seniors mean to the program. I believe they are the most winning class in our program's history. So factually, they mean more than any other class before here. And there's been a lot of good ones. And it seems like every senior class for the last three, four years, we've been able to say that about. And it's just really cool that these senior classes just keep adding wins on top of it and continuing to break those records. But a lot of really special, a lot of really special individuals in there. Uh, just personalities on all ends of the spectrum. But, you know, we just hope we can finish this weekend off well and put those guys moving into the tournament on a good weekend. And for the win. With seven and a third strong innings in the books. Native of the Empire State will still have some work to do, Tom, when it comes to tournament action. But that is the last time they'll be able to greet him here on this campus as Adam Scott leaves in the eighth inning. The team was preseason seventh, and you were able to clench third place tonight. Tell us about that feeling. Yeah, so uh, coming in, I mean, Coach I always talks to us about how it doesn't matter what anyone outside of our locker room kind of thinks, and I mean, that's that's kind of what we took to this season. People overlooked us, and, you know, it's kind of always been some motivation, but yet that's kind of the group of guys that we are of. You know, we're sometimes overlooked, undervalued, and we play with something to prove and have a chip on our shoulder, and we've done that, and, like, I mean, it, it doesn't surprise any of us that we were, we were in third. Like, more than anything else, we're probably surprised we didn't get first because um, we, we're all so confident in ourselves and this team we have. But, you know, it was nice to kind of prove them wrong and show, show those outside people that, you know, they don't really know a whole lot about what's going on with our team. But at the end of the day, I mean, third place is just setting us in a good spot to hopefully make a run of this tournament. That's, that's kind of what we plan to do. Adam, a lot of emotions tonight. It was your last time up on the mound. Tell us what those emotions were. Yeah, it was, I mean, going in, it's no secret that it was the last one, but also, you know, it's kind of no secret that the last two weeks um, have been a struggle, kind of a little bit, not quite being myself. So um, it was kind of a double time, double thing, kind of of emotions, just trying to get back to be myself, but also, you know, keeping my emotions under check uh, with it being the last one. And, you know, it was a step in the right direction. Uh, still got a whole lot that I can get better from. It wasn't by far my, my best outing, but it was good enough to get a win, which was, uh, exciting, um, but you know, and, and on top of that, for it to be a win on, on the last start and the last time I'll be able to take the mound here is, I mean, it's it's, it's picture perfect. Like anytime you think about uh, ending something, you wanna you wanna do it out going out on top, and you know, it's it, it's it's just a it's a really kind of nice humbling feeling that I'm lucky enough to to kind of have that um, going out and that that we we did it the right way. It's also your senior weekend here. Tell us your favorite memory at Wofford. Oh, man. Um, I mean, Mac Nathanson's walk-off uh, against Furman last year uh, when he had a walk-off home run was uh, one of the more exciting things. Cody Miller's walk-off this year against UNCG. Um, seeing his that, that ball kind of hit, hit the ground out there. I mean, I think I don't. I kind of blacked out afterwards because we were all so excited, and, I, and that was that start for me personally was probably my favorite one, uh, just because it was you know kind of the most complete. But 
you know, my, the best memories is coming for, for once we get that dog pile and get that ring, because at the end of the day, that's that's all I care about. That's all each one of these guys care about. That's all we, we're trying to go get. And, you know, that's that's a memory that I'll cherish forever. The other stuff will, will kind of be second nature behind it. So, Mac, it's your senior weekend. Tell us your favorite memory at Wofford. I'm hoping we make some more memories better than this later this year, but probably right now would be my walk-off home against Furman. That was, that's going to be in my mind for a while. A walk. Nathanson puts a charge into this one. Soaring high, taking flight. Ball game, a walk-off winner for Wofford, 9-8. Mac Nathanson with his second home run of the night, and it proves to be the difference at Russell C. King Field.